Hi, my name is Eliana from Tankspot and I would like to welcome you to my little tutorial on how to create your own KG panels artwork. I create my stuff with Photoshop and that's all I really have experience with, so if you're using another program I can't really give you a detailed description on how to achieve a similar effect. I'm sorry. Before you decide to make KG panels artwork yourself, there are certain things that you have to know about KG panels. Most importantly, any KG panels graphic file must be saved as a target file (TGA) and can only be saved in specific pixel sizes. Namely, it must be powers of 2. So 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256 or 512 in width and height. You cannot exceed 512 pixels on either width or height of your image, but you can drag the layer in game later on to suit your needs. You can, however, freely choose the size on either side, i.e. it doesn't have to match, as long as you stick to powers of 2. Now it's time to introduce you to a very convenient Photoshop tool. I'm talking about brushes. Brushes are going to be your main source for blending together amazing backgrounds. You can either make your own, which pretty much would be enough content to fill yet another tutorial, or you can get them online. Places such as DeviantArt are a good source for brush sets. Download whichever you like and put them in the brushes folder of Photoshop. The path depends on your Photoshop version and uh, your OS. Mine's somewhere very hidden, but it, it will always be a folder called presets slash brushes. That's where you put them. Once you find and install some sets you like, it's time to get started. Make sure to always restart Photoshop after installing new brushes to have them actually show up in the program. Then you open up a new file. Um, choose the size based on the aforementioned rules and what dimensions you want your piece to fit. And also make sure your color swatches, those, have the default color selected. Black as foreground color and white as background color. Then make sure you have the background layer selected and go to Filter, Render, Clouds. Then just hit Ctrl and F until you get something that's even, like, like that kind of. You see there's only one little dark spot and the rest is pretty much evenly blended. That's pretty much what you want to shoot for. Then create a new layer on top of your background layer and uh, change its blending mode to overlay. Now you select your brush tool and you pick one of the sets you downloaded or really any set that you that you like. For your first layer it should be decently sized brushes. They shouldn't be too small, uh, so you can actually cover some ground and it will look just fine. Then just apply the brushes. Switch between white and black as a foreground color every once in a while. And, you know, play around until you find something that that you like and that looks good to you. Now every once in a while what you should do is create a new layer, also switch the mode to overlay, and continue with what you were doing. You can switch brush, brush sets as you like, obviously, and just keep doing that until you have a nicely blended background. You should really pay attention that no part of your image gets too dark or too light though. It will be very distracting uh, if you don't pay attention to that. So, see those are a little extreme. You kind of want to keep the extreme colors for the later layers. isn't looking terrible so let's make another layer again change the blending mode to overlay and play around some more you 
you should have at least three layers worth of brushes uh, to choose from. Alright, once you're happy with your background, whatever it is that you that you made, it's time to give your uh, your piece some, well, you know, some style. You kind of want to uh, to apply a certain touch. You know, either you want like maybe starry piece, or you want a a winter piece, or you know, just give it some sort of theme. Uh, for that, you're gonna need some more specific f uh, brushes. Maybe something like this. This will give it a techy look. So once again, change your blending mode to overlay, and whichever brushes you choose to modify your piece. See, this is kind of giving it a bit of a techie look. Again, apply some that you like. You should probably play around more with it than I am right now, but I'm just kind of trying to show you the basics. So it's not going to turn out great or anything. But yes, play around. So these are probably going to be pretty obvious, so you might want to turn down the opacity on that a little, just so you don't go too overboard. Alright, once you have a style, a theme set on your piece, um, it's actually time to apply some colors. For that, we go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. Alternatively, just press Ctrl and B to get there. So, oh, wait, I made a mistake. You actually have to be on your background layer to start this. Now, you play around with those sliders until you find a color that you like for the piece you're making. Well, it suits techie. Suppose we can go for green in this. Uh, as you can see, there's shadows, midtones, and highlights. Uh, those actually do what they say they do. See, this is just the highlights. The shadow slider, obviously, it's just the shadows. So, with the background layer, you're actually going to adjust most of the colors there are in your piece. But, you should still do the same thing for all the, the other layers that you have, just to see if you can't achieve an effect that you like more somehow. It's usually tiny little details, but details are kind of important. So whether or not you change every layer is up to you obviously. Uh, it'll still look good if you don't. Um, you also don't always have to adjust all the highlights and shadows. Usually it looks good if you just do the midtones, but as I said, it's all about playing around and finding something that you that you like to look at. So, yeah. Once you're done coloring all your layers, oh, well, that'll do. Yeah. Once you're done coloring all the layers, uh, you can add a border if you wish, or, you know, if you're a little more advanced in Photoshop, you can apply some other effects like blurs or other neat things to, uh, to make it look even better. But that is the, the gist of it. If you want to add a border to it, you can do that easily. Just make another layer, select the rectangular marquee tool. Select your entire piece, right click, click on stroke. The width for the for the border should be between one and three pixels for a piece this size. And you might want to stick to neutral colors such as white, black, or gray. It usually looks the best. 
script so make sure the location is inside else you won't even see it pop up and apply the stroke and you have a border so yeah as I said it's all about customization and really playing around with Photoshop you can adjust those things to no end so just do whatever you want and uh, you know have fun be creative and enjoy that actually covers the basics of uh, KG panels artwork making. Don't forget to to save the file in the target format and just import it into uh, to KG panels like usual. I uh, I hope this helped you a little and yeah, good luck and have fun. Bye.